For over 100 years, Girl Scouts across America have sold cookies to fund troop activities. Five years after Juliet Gordon Lowe started the Girl Scouts, the Mistletoe Troop in Muskogee, Oklahoma, was the first recorded troop to sell cookies in 1917. They wanted to raise money to buy gifts for the soldiers stationed overseas during World War I. The girls of Mistletoe Troop hit on a clever idea to sell cookies they made at home in their own kitchens, and they sold them in their high school cafeteria. Other troops took note, and the idea of Girl Scouts selling cookies took off. In 1922, the first Girl Scout cookie recipe was published in the American Girl magazine. The sugar cookie recipe appeared alongside a business plan for selling cookies to help start the cookie selling revolution. The article estimated the approximate cost of ingredients for six to seven dozen cookies to be 26 to 36 cents. So it was suggested that the cookies be sold by troops for 25 or 30 cents per dozen. Throughout the 1920s, Girl Scouts in different parts of the country continued to bake their own simple sugar cookies recipe with their mothers. These cookies were packaged in wax paper bags, sealed with a sticker, and sold by the dozen door to door. In 1933, the Girl Scouts of Greater Philadelphia Council were also baking and selling cookies to finance their projects. The girls developed such great skills in marketing and business that a year later, they became the first council to start selling commercially baked cookies. By 1935, the Girl Scout Federation of Greater New York also began selling commercially baked cookies. The group bought its own dye in the shape of a trefoil and first used the words Girl Scout cookies on the box. In 1936, the National Girl Scout Organization began the process of licensing the first commercial bakers to produce cookies that would be sold nationwide by girls in Girl Scout councils across America. The enthusiasm for Girl Scout cookies was spreading, and by 1937, more than 125 Girl Scout councils reported holding cookie sales. Girl Scout cookies continued to be sold by local councils up until World War II, when sugar, flour, and butter shortages led the Girl Scouts to pivot to another idea selling the first Girl Scout calendars in 1944 as an alternate way to raise money. After the war ended, cookie sales began again, and by 1948, a total of 29 bakers were licensed to bake Girl Scout cookies. In 1951, Girl Scout cookies were sold in three varieties, sandwich, shortbread, and chocolate mints. With the rise of suburbs and then the introduction of shopping malls, girls began to set up tables to sell their Girl Scout cookies at the mall. By the mid-1950s, Girl Scouts were selling four different types of cookies, a vanilla sandwich, a chocolate sandwich, a shortbread, and a chocolate mint. During the 1960s, Girl Scout membership expanded dramatically, and so did cookie sales. At this point, there were 14 licensed bakers, and they began wrapping Girl Scout cookie boxes in printed aluminum foil or cellophane to protect the cookies and preserve their freshness.
In 1978, the number of bakers was streamlined to just four to ensure lower prices and uniform quality, packaging, and distribution. For the first time in history, all cookie boxes, regardless of the baker, featured the same design and depicted scenes of Girl Scouts in action, including hiking and canoeing. And in 1979, the brand new Saul Bass designed Girl Scout logo, which incorporated the trefoil, began to appear on cookie boxes. During the 1980s, the most popular cookies were Thin Mints, Dosi Dos, and Trefoils. All of the commercial bakers were required to bake these three varieties, along with four optional flavors depending on demand. In 1992, Girl Scout cookies made it into outer space with Jan Davis, the first female space shuttle commander and former Girl Scout. But nothing was as iconic as the Girl Scout troop that included comedian Chris Rock's daughter, selling cookies at the 88th Academy Awards in 2016, where stars like Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet were seen fully enjoying their cookies. Regardless of the cookies' universal appeal, the Girl Scouts have consistently connected the importance of business to female empowerment since the sales began. The annual cookie sale is the largest girl-led business in the United States, with sales totaling over $800 million in 2019. The Girl Scout cookie season usually lasts six to eight weeks between January and April, so now's the time to place your order. I've added a link down below to my favorite Girl Scouts cookie page if you would like to order some cookies. Just make sure to select the shipping option and they will be delivered to your door. Let me know in the comments your own memories of selling or enjoying Girl Scout cookies. For the record, my favorite cookies are tagalongs. As always, thank you so much for watching.